is how we ride. This is how we do. Hey, I'm bolting it. I'm going to Sharps. To oh, Sorry. okay. A I'm new one. I'm going to go to Sharps tomorrow and get an uh, insert. Oh, okay. So I need a. That's what they're telling you, at least, just to get it out, you know? <laughs> yeah, everybody's going to trip. They probably think I'm getting fired, but no, we're uh, going to do a uh, seat insert tomorrow before um, 360 Nationals. Just, I got a day or, uh, and Sharp is able to get me in. So uh, I'm going to go over there and got to be there at 9 in the morning. So I had to have the seat out tonight. And I'm going to drive an hour to Brownsburg. So it's got to be gone by like 8 o'clock in the morning. So we're going to get a. Uh, just have it out so I can take it with me. I got a rental car. So um, I actually have uh, actually been using Anthony's sharp insert and it's actually good. Like it, I really like it about way better than anything I had. So um, it's just, he's a, I think he's a little smaller than me in the back. So um, it's a little tight and gives me a little bit of back pain. So I'm going to go make my own. I'm going to take uh, this Your comfortability insert. matters, you know. Oh, big time, big time. It's, uh, I'm, I was actually, like I said, way more comfortable. Um, with with that insert like I, you know i always find myself sometimes like pulling like on restarts and stuff and like now it's like i was solid like i don't really move around so it's uh yeah it's definitely helps the fatigue well part. the last uh, year and a half has had to be crazy all, all the cars you know you you had the 2x going for you there for a while after the 121 17 days and yep. then who knew what was going to happen were you going to be west coast guy forever and that's just yeah. your bud kating lifestyle no i'm just kidding but I mean, and then all of a sudden Swindell happens with the Knoxville deal, and then Swindell signs on this year, and then it's every shot you got Wayne County first yeah. try second, you know, you, you finally got that shot that it seems like you know you've been looking for. And how's how's that? How's this whirlwind even? And then this is just next level, how out of nowhere lottery almost. Yeah, for I mean, a driver, it's a it's a lottery, you know. Yeah, this is something like I was talking to somebody. I remember what I, who it was, and I was saying, man, if you'd have told me that. I would have got and within a year been driving for Swindell at the Nationals and doing all that and then be in this car like you know within a year I'd be like you guys are crazy there's no way but um yeah I know this this thing kind of just fell together and you know they were uh willing to work with a little bit of my California schedule so I'm still going to finish the NARC stuff and do and do big races in California I'm running this up to Jackson so we're going to see how it goes uh up to Jackson and just uh yeah I mean so far it's I'm very comfortable in the car. I never ran this good on big racetracks, so um, it's it's the car's really fast. I you know I'm like at Knoxville, there was a little bit of craft I needed to learn, like on restarts and dirty air and just move it, you know when to move and how to move. But honestly, the car's been pretty on point. I-70 was great. I mean, I went tenth and fifth. That's my best ever half mile, best I ever felt on a half mile. So, and then Ozark our first night, we were pretty solid. Then I just quick you know, time first try. I mean, yeah, yeah, we're solid. And then tonight, you know solid too just um we we're just a little tight tonight just a little too tight and um but joe's been man he's been doing a hell of a job he's uh he's had this thing really solid he works his tail off every second trying to make it better and hank and Lockie, they're great guys i'm, I'm you know I, I like the guys i'm racing with having a lot of fun with them well and, and you know obviously there's always critics but people don't know I, I met you when you were in a damn single car garage working on your own cars little guy versus the, the cartel out there yeah. and you've always had a bunch of people against you it seems like your entire career coming up so i'm sure when you see some of the critics out there saying what they're saying like it's just like okay wait and see that's just fire it's always been like a fire for you to prove people wrong it yeah. seems like yeah i mean it's uh it, it makes my job a little easier definitely with the car the way the, the way the car's been handling it yeah, I don't really pay attention to the social media or anything like that. It don't bother me. Whatever anybody says about me, it doesn't bother me. I've always been like that. So um, that part of it doesn't, you know, it doesn't phase. But um, well, you know, just being on that you know, stage in front of everybody, oh, you're yeah, not yeah, really yeah. worried about that too much. You've done no. that before, well, just in well, a smaller circle. The only thing I was probably I would say I was worried about coming to this deal was, I mean, the car's fast always. It's a Ferrari. Yeah, yeah, the car's fast always. Anthony won tons in it. He's always up front, and I'm like, man. You know, I don't, I don't know, you know, I'm, I'm performing to that level, you know, and it's, uh, um, there's always that little bit of a, you know, can I do it or, or whatnot, but. I right, mean, if, if this was at Placerville and Chico against the Allies, you wouldn't have no yeah, doubts. It's yeah. just going out into the deep a little bit. Yeah, exactly. Like, you know, I was really worried about I-70 just because of my experience. It's nothing to do with anything else. It was my experience. And, um, I, after the main, I was like, wow, I felt awesome. I was like, this is, this was great. Like, and Joe was like, well, yeah, you know, but if I got to get the go probably could have got the car a little bit better down the straightaway and i was like yeah man i don't know i said it was pretty dang good to me yeah, yeah i think i think some people need to recognize even when i was in pennsylvania it's funny you did become kind of the biggest name in pa without <laughs> still to this day <laughs> turning been, a lap in pennsylvania PA, yep. but devin borden a guy from the west coast has went over there and there's a little critics and i'm like you got to understand within two years you know 
he, he's went from never running a half mile in his yeah. life to competing at Port Royal and point leading at yeah. Port Royal. And even you yourself, when you're going to I-70, what is that, maybe your seventh, eighth time on a half mile in your life? I think I counted it. You know what I, I mean? I counted it. It was my sixth time on a half mile. Yeah, I, I ran Knoxville in 2016. I ran with Swindell, and then we ran in Oskaloosa. So we did 316, 410 Nationals, Oskaloosa. And then I ran, I don't know if you call Lakeside a half mile. They do. Okay, so Lakeside, so yeah, yeah, and then I-70, and then Knoxville. So I guess Knoxville is like my seventh half mile. So, so yeah, I mean... It's, it's just there's a lot of people thinking like this is just an odd, but it's so it is real. If you are over there on that west coast, you're only exposed to a certain style of racing. Yeah, the biggest know. track I think we have right now on the west coast is Stockton. And right, Stockton's just like three eighths. It's not right. Nothing, and like it's rough that. and it's never smooth. But yeah, it's nothing like these type of tracks, and it races way different. It doesn't really. I mean, it does race big, but it doesn't race like I seventy. Well. I don't know. I, I actually think in the feature, like heat races stuff, I seventy felt like it raced really big, but then in the main, like I don't know if it slowed down a little bit or just got really racy, and it just, it just, it raced like I don't know, maybe more like a short track, but it still drove like a, a big track, I guess. I don't know. It's hard to explain, but no. is it more so the race craft, like you're saying, in traffic that you have to learn the air it's, air yeah, factor? It's like air on restarts and stuff. That's really been hard for me, like to, to figure out. Like it's air on restarts. It's um, it's like. Defensive when with somebody air too, moves, or? or like, yeah, like say somebody when somebody moves, like say you're, you're gaining on somebody. I had this problem at Knoxville, like I'd be gaining on the car in front of me, and then he would move in my air, and then like I'm like, oh, what do I do? Like I get a little, I feel a little weird. Then I, oh, what do I do? And I like miss my line a little bit, and then somebody behind me would get a run on me. So that was my biggest problem. Um, well, it looked like you were curbing three and four extremely well at Knoxville, which yeah, is hard and, to do for and, most. And, and you honestly, were nailing it your six time in on a half mile. And honestly, I actually felt really good on the bottom, like. Like even Joe said, he's like, man, I wish you went to the bottom a little more in three and four. You were fast down there. When you'd hit it, you were real fast. But, you know, I actually, I could run it really well. It's just like, it was like, I was having the problem going from the bottom of the straightaway back to the curb. It's like, it's weird. It's a fine line of hitting the grip down the straightaway, and then pulling in the slick and hitting the mark. Like, I would stay in the grip, I think, too long, too low. And then I would just barely cheat the entry to one just a little bit, and it would slow my speed down. Just so, kill your first half of the corner. Yeah, and I so I need to get better at going from the bottom down the front, like like at Knoxville, down the front straightaway from the bottom, and like transitioning to the middle, and then getting to the top. I, and I racing can't help that. I'm just kidding. It might. I mean, you know, <laughs> I'm just I kidding. Mean, it, it might. It's. Uh, it could. But but well, this that's one of the reasons some people dedicate a whole year to Knoxville Racing Weekly yeah. just to get to that learn the little nicks and crannies that that track produces yeah, you, you could see guys that, that do it like chase randall's pretty good in the 360s and then garrett williamson you know they ran there a lot this year and you can you can see the um you can really see the the difference of those guys like kind of knowing when to move how fast to slide across the track and hit the curb that's a, i think that was the biggest thing too like i didn't realize that when you slide across the track you can really run it really hard like you know like on the throttle really hard and really catch it so i think a little bit of that, a little bit, you know, just kind a of, bit of learning flat. how to be aggressive on a flat half mile. Yeah, yeah, I'd say that's a good, that's a good way to put it. Um, but no, I mean, I, I can't thank you know Mick Macri enough and all these guys, all the sponsors, you know, that, that continue to support this car. You know, JNS Fabrications, Valley Supply, uh, CND Rigging, uh, Randy Shear Heating and Plumbing, um, FK Rod Ends, Winners, Willwood Brakes, just everybody that's on this car. I don't quite know all the sponsors, but I kind of got a decent handle on on what's on the car. Right. So. Um, yeah, the whole Macri family's been great. You know, Ryan Hans, you know, been a good like manager, and Joe's a great crew chief. And these guys are really good workers. Well, and, and so y'all are doing 360 right yeah. after this. Yeah. And then Capitani. Yeah, we're gonna Oscaloosa. Run, run it at all? Yeah. All of it. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm trying I guess... to get me better on the on the half miles before 410 nationals. I mean, I, like I said, I I, I do feel better. Like, um, I think when I ran Kevin's car last year, I was still nervous. So like. I was because you were Balboa getting your shot. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I was basically, like, I was nervous and like I qualified good with Kevin, but I kind of just would maintain where I was at. You know, it was just kind of a maintain thing. And then in the main, um, I just basically ran the bottom on my prelim. Now, I ran the top a couple times, but I didn't feel comfortable in three and four. Um, so I kind of just ran the bottom, and then you know, guys would miss the bottom, and I, I'd, I'd pick them off. And I, I think I, I ran 16th or 15th and 24th, and that was good enough to walk in the show. Um, but I, I felt like me as a driver, I wasn't very racy, if that makes sense. Like, well, luckily for that fact, you it doesn't seem like you need to really be truly racy 
uh, at the nationals if you can lay down a good yeah. qualifying lap which you did you just have to sort of somewhat maintain and you're in the show and, and you have a ferrari now to do that yeah, <laughs> i mean now, nothing against kevin but it's a ferrari you know? yeah just now it's just going to be me um putting together the qualifying and, and making the right decisions and all the heat races and, and doing that but like i said these guys have been really good so i think uh i mean i, I think i'll definitely have to this is how we ride this is how we do i must lie.